Hey guys, Brenny here with Build and Play 6. Now, some of you might be wondering what actually happened. Um, with my new computer, it shuts off every now and then playing Minecraft. It's just got some bugs I need to iron out, I suppose. But um, I actually got put back not too far because I did have a backup fairly recent and I have been backing up my world a lot. But I did lose the progress of the um, slime thing. So, well, slime levels, I suppose. So, I'll be back when I actually have that set up uh, to the same point we were at in the previous episode. Okay, guys. So, I basically caught up to where I was at in the previous episode. I also did a different system. I figured I'd sacrifice the one uh, piston every 15 blocks because when I do flick the switch, you'll see the um, water only comes out by one block. So, it doesn't won't really affect the slimes not spawning kind of thing. Over here, you'll see that's where that one block is. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make this look really presentable with using iron and stuff. And now it's going to take me forever to get back up here. Keep going up. Um, oh my god. This is taking forever. I feel it's like awkward silence is going on. Alright, here we go. So, um, I've done this one side. I haven't done the other side yet. I don't know if the, waters will, uh, the water flows will mix yet. But... Yeah, I just started making enough pistons for this side. Actually, yeah, I do have every piston. Um, then I actually need to put a water source here, just because it makes life easier. But the thing is, like, I dug out this 3x3 three three room, and I probably only really needed 2x3. Didn't even really need that, but I, I like to have some room. Uh, so, yeah, I'll come back once I've probably, on the second layer, got it all working or something like that. Okay guys, so I've finished the first layer, um, I don't know where I'm going to start the second layer, if I should start it right on top just here, or if I should maybe just move up one to be extra safe. I figured I'd have to start from here because this part actually holds the water in, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I don't know about that just yet. The only thing I'm really annoyed about is getting around because all the water and stuff blocks it off and then, um... I think I might make the next one without water and just continue making them without water until the end. I don't really know how I'm going to get one button to work all the things at once, but that's not really an issue at the moment because I don't know actually where I want that button, but for now it's right here. Um, but yeah, I need to get like rid of this block here because that makes the water stupid. I need to actually dig out this whole area here, so that will probably be done in this episode as well because that's where I'm going to have the slime elevator. Um, at the Alright, so the water's going to push them this way. They're going to drop down, and then there's going to be a water pattern, basically. Uh, I'll make it here, so you guys can see. Um, so, we'll go get a bucket of water. Up here. There we go. And basically, the um, water will be like this, basically, to get the slimes to the bottom. And um, this is where each level will be. So this is one level, this is another level. And they're all going to meet into one area so the slimes don't get damaged. I could just have them fall if I wanted to, but they'll probably die, some of them. Um, and then at this, we'll just say this area here, there'll be a killing machine that will make them all into the smallest slime. And then those slimes will be elevated up a ladder because slimes naturally crawl up ladders. So yeah, I'll get on to doing that. Hopefully... If I come back and I feel amazing, I'll do all the layers, and you'll be watching me build this part next. Okay guys, so this is my nether. I went to the nether to get some glowstone so I could light up my um, spawn pads for the uh, slime spawner because I don't want mobs to be spawning in there, just slimes. And I realized I have a pretty sick nether, so we got a um, nether stronghold over there. And I believe we have an area we can walk up here and collect the glowstone without having to ladder up. And then we got a huge lava pool over here, which I don't really like. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with my nether, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I realized once I did all the layers, I'm going to need a lot of glowstone. So I went on an adventure in the nether and didn't get lost at all and got a few stacks of glowstone. Um, and I've placed it here and here because I believe mini slimes will spawn in these spots where the water isn't so I figured that would be the best positioning I still think spots like here will be a bit too dark and um, monsters might spawn so I might have to put glowstone maybe in here or something like that but I don't really know just yet uh, but we have the first and second layer fully done now I believe Okay guys, so after that short little distraction, um, I was in the middle of saying I believe uh, that this layer here 
is fully done. I'm going to the third layer now. I think I'll be able to get about uh, five layers, maybe? I don't know. But I've got two ladder systems going now. This one is for the uh, where the slimes will spawn. And the one down here is for where I do my water system. So I have signs here just to hold back the water. And yeah, the ladder here goes up through all the piston water system things. They will all be connected to one and I'm pretty sure I'll just have a switch at my home base area that will be able to disable and re-enable the uh, slime spawning. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping I can get, phew, I don't know how many layers, so how many ga gap is in between that? We'll, we'll dig this out now together. Ah, oh, here it is. I already have a gap dug out. Go! There we go. Alright, so what I have to do on every layer is build up the wall a bit because the wall was um, done wrong. So I go around to the outside here where you can see there's a bit of um, rim. Is that the right word? Yeah, <laughs> rim <job>. Anyway, <laughs> then I dig out the wall and do the pistons and stuff. But yeah, I'm feeling I could fit maybe four more layers here. I'm a bit worried about getting to the top and like this part is at 41 and this part is at 40. I think I'll still make it if it's like that because this part will be able to spawn them or something. I don't really know. We'll see when I get up there. But yeah, I'll come back when I've done even more. So 10 hours has passed since the last clip, probably even longer, but I haven't been playing the whole 10 hours. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did most of this during the live stream. And we have almost every layer done, so they're actually not all wired up to each other because that's probably going to be the last part. But we have one floor, and then this is our second floor. They're all identical, so um, the only floor that won't be identical is the top. We've got a third floor. Go up a bit more. A fourth floor. The only issue I'm having is mobs can spawn in this part here just, I believe, if I'm really unlucky. So I may have to add a torch there and ruin like a spawning position, but whatever. Um, won't be too bad. There we go, another one. What number are we on? I think it's five. We'll count them at the end. Um, and this should be six then. So there, yeah, they're all the same. Um, identically the same, like from the inside on the outside of course there's some little differences that I probably messed up with and then this is the top here but I noticed right here is level 40 as you can see my Y is 40 and when I jump it goes to 41 so if I actually had this all the same level I could have one potential extra spawning area but I believe I'll just do it like this and have this as the spawning area and this top part will just be nothing maybe where I have all the wires connecting up or something like that but yeah, for now I just put a bunch of torches around this room to light it up. I still think monsters can spawn in here. But if we go down here, we'll see. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So we got six layers, a seventh if you include that. Well, six and a half. We'll go six and a half. So if we go down here and flick to... Uh, I didn't know, but apparently slimes disappear now when they are when you go back to peaceful. It used, they used to stay, but now they disappear. So I go here, wait until the E equals um, well, it settles. So it's settled now on 307, and then I run out here, and hopefully there's some slimes. If there isn't, um, my bad luck really. I just gotta go and clean out a um, few more caves kind of thing. So there's no slimes up here. I probably got a bad one, but yeah, the first time I did do this, I was really lucky. I think I got about seven slimes in like ten seconds, so there we go. There's one there. Um, kill that loser. Punch punch them with balls, because the other ones are punchable, I suppose. I want to know if they give you a lot of XP or a little XP compared to other mobs. I might look up like XP ratios. Uh, do we have any more in here? Well, as you can see, we spawned one in like a second, and over time, more and more will spawn, but I can hear a spider, and I hope you guys can hear it. Um, I don't know if my sounds are messed up or not. So clearly, other mobs are spawning in areas where I don't want them, uh, and I have to go fill up caves. I did fill up a lot of caves when I was actually making this, because I ran out of redstone, I think, two or three times, and whoa, hello, my friend, and I had to run through and find some redstone and that took forever and I dropped a lot of viewers during the live stream but yeah I enjoyed the live stream didn't really intend for it to go for about 11 hours so the people that actually are watching this now and didn't go to the live stream there's people that did go to the live stream and saw a lot of effort put into this so if you do appreciate that I would appreciate a thumbs up 
Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I really don't have much more to do. I'll see how long this is going for, and we'll see if we can do some wiring up in this episode, but yeah. So after getting some more supplies for pistons, I decided we could do the very top half section of the um, slime farm, because wiring all the redstone together is really going to be something awkward. I don't really know how I'm going to go about it just yet. I need to figure out where I want levers. Um, I don't even think I'll actually wire them all together until I've got the uh, slime killing, well, smalling system. I don't even know what you'd call it. The thing that kills them and makes them to the little tiny slimes. So we'll go down here. And this is basically going to be roughly what I did during the live stream kind of thing. Um, I think I will need more cobblestone though because that kind of sucks. So what we did was we went around here, breaking torches for some reason. And I don't see the point in having a uh, higher ground here, but we'll see. Uh, break all this crap. Okay, so we want four up from here, so that would be... Do we want that? No, we want that one higher, so we'll have it like that. And then that will go around. So we will need... Oh god, I missed so many torches. So where do we need our pistons if that is where it's going to be? I'm going to work over here where the light is so you guys can see a bit better. Um, so this is where our pistons are going to push. This is where the water will be stored. So there should be a roof. I'll probably bring down the roof one level, the whole roof in this whole room just to make it look presentable because I'm weird like that. So if we have a piston here facing up and when it's extracted, well, when it's extracted, is that? I think that's actually the right word. Uh, it will push up here, holding the water in, and when it isn't, the water will fall out. And because we'll have this here, the water will want to go this way for some reason. I don't know why. I can't remember why. Hmm. I have really have no clue why. Oh, no. We, we normally have the redstone here, I believe, and that makes the piston want to stay in the right spot. So if we power this... Yeah, that is how I do it. I haven't done this in a while, guys. I'm blanking out. Uh, but yeah, I've got to get to doing that. So I'll be... Hmm. I don't know if I should show it all if or if I shouldn't kind of thing. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go get more cobblestone. Then I'll show it all. Just because I feel you guys should be a part of the building process too. So we got the cobblestone. And we're going to go around here. Which is basically the exact same design as before. Except I have less wall to play around with. Oh, I'm going to have to cover my little glass area. Kind of sucks. Um, we will place our pistons down. I don't remember. Oh no, I broke into the wall last time. because That's why I don't remember placing the uh, part where the redstone was beside. Because normally I would just break into the wall. So we will do this. I realized I've used probably, hmm, each one has about 60 pistons, I believe. So there's like seven layers or something. Wait, there was 6.5, but this one uses the same amount. So seven layers of pistons, which is really kind of crappy because that's a lot of, wow, that is a lot of materials. Oh my God, kind of regret doing this now. Not really, though, because I think it's pretty hardcore. Uh, I know my clicking's really loud, guys. Um, I realized that I got... Well, I didn't realize. Uh, I think it was Neil mentioned uh, that you can turn down something in your sensitivity on your mic. It's called Blair or something. Blair? Blair? I don't know. It's, some, it's like sensitivity, but it's more for like ambient, like background sounds, not ambient. Just random ass sounds that like mouse clicking, computer sounds and stuff. It it like knows or I don't know how it works but yeah he said I can do something like that and get better responses so yeah now what we're doing is just running a redstone wire going around the whole build so that uh, we can power it and when we power it clearly we'll have to add a torch every 15 or so, so blocks which I have a little technique for just so it's symmetrical and I can light it up nicely so what we do is we put our switch there and you'll see how things extract. Uh, we will put a little pathway around here so I can jump up easy. I suppose I could just hold it. Seems just as easy and less annoying kind of thing. Um, there we go. I think this uh, build and play is going to be a pretty long one. So if you appreciate that, more love please. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, there are one spot on each one that basically doesn't have pow enough like power and it seems so much easier just to uh, skip it like this one here is it um it's just it's so much easier to skip that one kind of thing and then what we do once we get to this corner we won't need water there and we won't need water there so we will take it out of these parts and then here we will have a repeater and here we have a repeater now this basically will make this side and this side symmetrical so once we get to here we'll have to add another repeater put this one out um, put more cobble there and there you go I know I just like got lost two freaking things but it doesn't really matter that much to me so we'll run along the roof now with um, cobblestone and this is how every single one is just this one's a, on a smaller proportion kind of thing so we'll do that, run along the roof again, and it's starting to take shape as you can see. Um, it's a bit dark, but I will add the um, glowstone and stuff in like I did with the previous one. Uh, now we need to add this here, which is our side to hold the water in. And then we need to do the other side, and then we can get it going basically. Oops, we actually do need to plug in that little gap here, or else the water will uh, fall back onto all the redstone wiring just in case you're making this for some reason I figured I'd tell you guys um, and there <laughs> perfect timing right there I know I know I'm not as exciting as normal but I'm it's real it is 3 a.m. I've been up for ages live streamed and I really did want to make this I don't know why I probably should have waited till the morning but then I wouldn't have been as fresh with what to speak about and stuff oh no what do I do do I really have to go around? No, we're just going to bust through for now. Alright, there we go. Busted through the wall. Ah, uh, this is looking really ugly. I'll get on it. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I want to know where the water's going to stop, considering it starts up here now. It might actually go all the way to the end, and I'll have to do glowstone a different way or a different pattern. So this part here is actually going to be our new roof. So I'm going to bring the roof down by two, basically, and that should be pretty good. Um, it should make it look presentable too, like you won't really be able to see the floors unless you go in some random doors that I'll have. Not that you would really be in the slime spawner kind of thing, but yeah. Um, place this around. But yeah, that's basically how I do it, and then I fill it up with water, but that's basically the same process. I put the water in the gaps, um, do a little pathway up here, oops, holes in the wall, don't really like the look of that. And now what I normally did was have a little water source somewhere. Oops, that's odd. I no normally didn't have a roof that I had to worry about either. Don't know what's going on with this. Oh yeah, because, oh wow. I just ran into a new problem. Because this one is halfway down, I don't actually have a too thick roof, which kind of sucks. But yeah, what I do is, oh no, I don't know where to put this. Uh, we'll dig into this part here. Oh, we can see this one's water. Alright, this is actually alright. We'll use this water here. So we'll get this. We'll grab the middle one. And it will self-fill. Flip this down. And when we put our water here, you'll see it slips down. Oh, no, we're not meant to put it there. We're meant to put it here. And you'll see it goes the correct way. I don't really know why. I, I feel it should break the redstone and go both ways. But if it's not going to do it, I'm not going to complain kind of thing. But yeah, we go along, do that with all of it, and then when we flick the switch, it turns it off. Uh, except for this part here, because there's a hole. Uh, but I'll bring this wall down one bit. And there we go. No more holes. I should, probably will end up filling up this whole corner part anyway, but just so I can get around easier, it's good to have it open. But yeah, guys, uh, that's what I'll end as because this has been a long ass episode. Heaps of progress done. I know you didn't get to see a lot of it, but if you were in the live stream and a few hundred people were, so hopefully that was enjoyable. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I've decided I want to release my world at 10, uh, build and play 10, but I will make, have a goal or something because it, this world means a lot to me. I've put so much effort into it, the kind of thing. And I know a lot of you guys get it. It's it's a world, you get connected to your world. It's all my work, all my progression. And then you give it to someone and like, I'm not saying all of you will, but some people are going to try to pass it off as theirs kind of thing. 
but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, leave a thumbs up, a comment, uh, what you want to see, if there's any ideas how I can improve this. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.